Hi guys, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and I'm doing a framing video. Now, I it's been a while, I think, since I've done a framing video. It's been a while since I've actually officially framed anything. <laughs> because I've been putting stuff under resin. So now this is proper, proper, proper frame, framing. So I got this, I got a frame from, I went shopping at um, Frame Shop Australia. So this is probably irrelevant for you guys in the US. However, um, you may find that this is, the process is handy and you might find in the US a frame company that sells these frames that are um, frameless. So this is the first time I have used these guys. I have three frames from them. Um, two of them are the frameless. One of them is one of those frameless ones is for my Durban custom, which I've been hanging to frame, but I just haven't been able to find a, how I wanted to frame it. And I finally found frameless. Okay, so. There will be some stages where there will be, I will speed it up um, and if I need to explain something I will um, or I might chat through it. I'll see how we go. I don't know whether I feel like a chatty box. Okay, hang on a sec. Sorry guys, now that I have a um, the ability to mute my microphone, um, I'm now, you may find I'll mute the microphone when I cough, sneeze, or even take a drink of my coffee. Um, it's, I don't know how you guys feel, but I, I know when I do diamond painting recordings, I do take the odd sip of coffee. I do find my coffee goes cold because I'm very conscious of the sound of um, that's made. And uh, microphone, now that I've got a microphone, it's so close to my mouth <laughs> that you'll hear those sounds. Okay, so just as a recap, I will put uh, links to everything that I've, in YouTube that I've done with the leopard. So this was a 40 by 50 by my diamond painting, and this is one that I actually won. Um, what I've just done there is I've been running my hand along for any drills that are popping up, uh, just to make sure they are down. I am not sealing this now. I do some squares. I do seal some. I put under resin because I just need to be sealed with resin. There's nothing going to keep them down. Um, but this is going directly under a frame that's going to clip it, clip it tight. So I don't believe anything is going to come off these once it's in the frame. What I am doing, however, is I, there's two things that I do. One is a light pad, which I've already done. The other thing is I actually hold the diamond painting up oh, to the light. And with that, funnily enough, I pick up diamond paintings, pieces that are um, missing. So I've just picked up, I've got three that I'm missing. Uh, and one that's upside down. <laughs> yep. Okay, so that one's upside down. Um, so one, two, three missing. Two are nine and one is a K, um, which very similar to colour. They're not going to make a difference. Um, so that's, I've picked up those three then. So I will replace, put those in. Um, I do want an extra one and I'll show you why in a sec. So, <laughs> I 
Okay. I didn't pick anything up. One, two, and three. Okay, so they're in. What I do have is, I don't know if you can see that white speck. I don't like that there. So this is when you look at things critically. And I will zoom you in so you can actually see what I mean. So right he here, sorry, I'm trying to find another camera. White speck, it's just wrong. And I am going to put the same color that I did to do those refills. If it was, I, you know, I would probably go with different colours. I could match it up. Um, it's a B. And the B was 310, actually. So somehow I've ended up with the wrong drill in there. I know it's a 310, which is a black, but I'm going to put a 3799, which is a very dark pewter. No, I'm not. I need to go and get a black. That just... That in itself looks wrong. I have to go get some 310s. Um, that's Hang on. No, that's 310 rounds. Hold on a sec. I will be right back. And I'm back. So, that one takes a 310. Okay, alrighty, yeah. Much better. Okay, the other thing that I need to do is so this is a magnifying glass with a light in it. What I'm looking at is now is the edges. And just pushing in that any that look like they're just out too far. Um, I'll zoom you out so you can see again what I'm doing. Yes, I am zooming you out. Just <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay. So what I'm just doing now is, yeah, looking at the edges. Oh, buddy. Just to make sure that they all look pretty well in place. Um, and it's the edges when you hold... Chibi's dog. When you hold a diamond painting up to the light, yes, you find the missing ones, with the exception of the edges. So this is where I go through. Just don't. It's a bit of painting on the edge. Okay. So now we've done that. Where is it? Now I've pushed down and pushed down yet again. I will continue to I'll roll again. But now I get an old toothbrush. This one's getting... <laughs> now this toothbrush was never used on me. This is a toothbrush I use as... Um, I think it's one I got on a plane, one of my overseas trips. <sighs> well, they put in your little packy goodie bag with your face mask. So this is getting any... Loose fluff, you will also find that doing this will pick up loose drills. So if you're actually not going to put it under a frame that's really going to hold it tight, this is where you're going to... Hang on. No. Um, yeah, this is where you'll find that your loose drills will pop off at this point. Now, you will notice that I have... The label, the legend on the side, the symbols on the side are still there. Where's that one? I just saw one look really funny. Oh, 
All right there. Okay. Um, legend is still, the symbols are still on the side. And the reason why you keep those, that legend is, sorry, I've got noise coming up in the corner of my computer. Um, the whole time that this is uh, being worked on, the legend stays there or I keep it, well, I keep it with me. Um, when I give these as gifts, if they're not behind a really solid frame, I actually do, when I do a give, uh, give it away, I actually cut that legend out and stick it to the back of the painting so that if by chance any drop out, there's the ability to replace them with the exact correct matching symbol. Okay, so there's still a little bit of popping. Oops, okay, hang on a sec. I'm back, did you miss me? Um, okay, sorry, I just, there was one piece that I had to go and get at this frame. So now this is good to go. So what was the frame I got? Just place that gently on the floor. So this is the frame. Doesn't look like much, does it? Um, when I received it, I looked at it and went, oh, it's all scratched. That's, you know, there's scratches in this. However, it's not. But it is frameless. So these clips, which is what I need to work out how to get off, these clips, um, oh, there we go. They're very easy. These clips, um, hang on, I'll just try and get this one off. Oh, gosh, they're not that easy. <laughs> okay. How are we going to do this? I think I need to put it over the edge. And Okay, let's try it this way. Let's try this one. So these clips, bugger. Okay, how else am I going to tackle this? That screwdriver is too big. Here's a screwdriver I prepared early. Oh! <laughs> Holy cow! That's how easy they come off. Okay. Gosh. I was battling with it. <clears throat> okay, so this is a... Tools aside, I might not need those. What we have is the backing board. Okay. Now, when I put this down, I need to make sure that that is my top bit. And then we have the acrylic. Was it acrylic? Hang on, I'm going to pull up. Um, hang on. So this was the one with the metal. <sighs> Picture frames clip frames um, okay so this is it's got the metal hanger genuine Swiss clips uh, it was just trying to find so this is UV 94% so 2 millimeter 94% UV resistance perspex and a 3 millimeter MDF. They do, there's only four clips, uh, but part of the process is for them is that um, dependent on the size on how many clips they give you to hang with. <laughs> okay, so this one, Aussie dollar, $32 for the frame. Rightio. Now, what I want to do is that perspex stays right away. You can... Now I've taken it off. You can see the scratches. And when I look, when I opened it, I went, oh, holy crap, it's scratched. But it's actually protected on both sides. 
Right. So, actually, no, I will bring this back. This is going to go under the perspex. Now, I did measure it. I did do it as a simple... Wow. I'm actually amazed with that. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can see it. So when we do diamond paintings, we have the, oh, well, you know, it's not a true 40 by 50. I did order this as a 40 by 50. I did measure it. We do have a little bit of a gap here, but it's so minimal. Top and bottom, just minimal. This is, I've actually managed to get perfect size for the painting. So I'm not, like sometimes um, we have to cut rows off to get, sometimes you get a picture frame that's slightly smaller than what the picture is and then cut the edges, cut a couple of rows off to get that to fit. I am not going to have to cut anything off. This is going to fit perfectly. Nice and easy. So um, this will end up being, I will have to speed this up a bit, but the simple process of this one, and I do have my light out because I need to really see. So you will get a bit of a glare there. And of course a cable in the way. I, I find that um, I, I, I'm, very rarely wear glasses while I'm diamond painting now. But what I do find that if I have a lot of light overhead, I can see without any issue. What you're going to get, highly likely, is my head is going to get in the way. But what I'm just doing... Now this might seem a bit weird, but this is actually... Oops. So the ruler, it's obviously a straight ruler. That's actually pushing down, pushing those in to make it a red edge. And this is where the glue is handy to have. Sorry, guys. Go that way. This is where the glue is handy on the edges because my ruler is now stuck there. It's not going to slide while I do the cutting. <laughs> Or, oh, hang on, correction, it should not slide while I'm doing the cutting. Uh, simple exacto knife. I will, however, start off the corner. See that? That's a burn. That's my. F That's when I did resin the other day. I got the, the torch was off, but I burnt, burnt, my, burnt my hand bit with the heat of the torch. Those scissors didn't quite cut it. <laughs> the actual starting point of the cutting these diamond painting canvases can be quite painful. Okay. Once you get it going, you don't seem to have much of an issue. But I'm cutting slightly on an angle. And I am semi-disturbing the drills on the edge. Purely because I'm trying to get slightly under the drills. Because the less of the canvas I have showing, the better. And that one's just not... There we go. I would recommend getting a craft mat especially to do this watch your edges as well when you are cutting like this you're going to displace drills uh, I will show you um, just bear with me and I'll just try and zoom you in so you can see
Okay, so if you can see that, there's just about no white showing. And that's what you want. Um, when you're doing something that's going to, basically it's going to show the edge. So what you want to do is get it as close to the edge as you possibly can. Okay. So I'm going to go through and cut these off and I will uh, speed this up so that um, it doesn't bore you. And um, I'll come back to you when I am, when I've got this all trimmed up. Okay, so now I've trimmed him up. I uh, just want to go, you may, I don't know whether you saw it, but there was, I did knock some jewels off at of that end. And I knocked one off of this one. Because I'd, um, hang on, I'm just trying to pick up the one that I grabbed and knocked off this end. Because I'd brushed, I know full well which jewels go where because of when they came off. Now there should be no more coming off. Just bear with me. Okay, so there we're all good there. Although we're not a hundred percent good. Hang on a sec, I just need to grab something. There we go. What I went and got was um some very fine point scissors. I need to trim off a little bits of fluff, which I need to, well I probably will burn off some fluff, but I do have little bits that are left on here, which are a struggle to get off, which is why when you cut you try and angle in, but if you haven't got a pair, get a pair of these little I think, I think they're actually little sewing stitches, I don't, scissors, I'm not sure. But they're very fine scissors. And I am actually able to just do that final little bits off the edges. And the fluff. Okay. So what do I mean? I, can you see that? That's what I've got to trim off. And these scissors get in there perfectly. Okay, 
and just down the bottom here. I know with the X-Acto knife, you may have seen that I changed the angle of how I was holding things. The X-Acto knife, the grip is very small. So if you're someone with, although I don't have it, if you have arthritis, the X-Acto knife is very hard to use. So I don't know what knife you'd be able to use. If you have any suggestions of a knife to use, pop it down in the comments below. Let's see what people have as a suggestion of how they trim up canvases. So that's the basics of it, with the exception of one thing I do like to do. Yep, on plastic. What that does, most of the times it just gets those bits of fluff off. So I do have some fluff on these. Get through those fluff. And I have a drill missing. Where is it? Oops. I have one that's right. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, it's. I have a drill missing. There it is. <laughs> it was sitting oh, on the canvas. Okay, I have another drill. Bear with me, where's my, oh, I'm going to have to, just need to torch this top section and then I'll hold this up and see if I can, if I'm missing anything. Okay, uh, and this one. Okay, all right, now where no, that's not it. Just holding this up to the light to see if I can find where that drill come out. Okay. That's not doing it. I need to do it this way. Sorry, guys. But if you frame a picture, if you frame a diamond painting, that one's not in the right, that one's just slipped a bit. We all know if you frame a diamond painting and there's one missing, Every time you look at that painting, that's what you're going to see. There it is. Down there. It's down there somewhere. I've lost it. There it is there. And in that process, I've just picked up that I've got an upside down drill. Which, come on, get out the right way for me. There we go. That's another thing that's so frustrating. Upside drills. You tend to get the most of them. But we still put, find them in there. And I've still got a bit of wax in that section there. Come on. Just the little imperfections that you'll come across. And once, once it's framed, and this is what it's all about, is once it's framed, are you going to be happy with it? If it's missing drills, definitely not. If there's a bit of wax stuck on the cam on one of the drill some of the drills or between the drills, every time you look that's where you're gonna look. Okay, so and that's neat you need to do that every time. Every time you cut touch the canvas until you get it in. You can't just go, oh well I've checked it all, it's all good now, I can do it. 
because you're moving it, you're loosening drills, you want to constantly check the check the canvas. Now, I now use a black marker. I would use, um, it's not so bad on a different colour, but on a dark, on a frame that has an edge that you can see. Um, putting a, because this is a dark picture, um, this will actually help hide that white edge. Granted, once it's up on the wall, people won't see it. But we're all critical of our own work. I feel a drill that's not down properly. You've got to be prepared to stop and fix as you go. Okay. Um, yeah, we all know. Others can't see the issues. But I tell you what, when we do something and we know it's not right, our, we always see it. We see it every time we look at it. And it's like, yep, that's there. Oh, it's not perfect. And art is not necessarily something perfect. It's not a perfect science. And people will appreciate at the, the amount of time you put in. Okay. Um, one thing else that I do here, this is not a texture as in a Sharpie marker, a permanent marker. This is a whiteboard marker because what happens is if you actually slip and get on the diamond painting, you're able to wipe it off. That Sharpie, that Sharpie is not going to, um, the, the Sharpie won't come off. Hang on, I still have a bit of fluff. The Sharpie won't come off. Um, whereas the whiteboard marker you'll be able to wipe off with the baby baby wipes. Okay. So the next step is actually putting it on the board. So yet again, as we're saying, make sure that is the top. So therefore, he goes on like that. Once he's glued on, there's no issues okay we do have it not quite square but he's pretty good he's not quite square I can see the edge slightly there and slightly there but pretty well happy with it he's gonna look so cool hang on let's put him under obviously the glass will be but that's what he's gonna be like under the glass under the Oh, excuse me, under the perspex. Hang on a sec. Okay, so from here, I am gluing this on. My recommendation with all diamond paintings is glue them on this yes it's going to be held on a frame that it's not going to move but glue your diamond paintings onto your backing i don't plan to put this guy in anywhere else if you're not sure of putting them in um just watch putting them in the frame just watch how you put them in um, i have given a gift and every time i go around there i see that it's actually sag whoops i'll do that way i was going like that it was actually sagging down the picture the picture frame because i didn't glue it what i do have is simple pva crafters group glue group glue uh, let's get that right and <clears throat> little hint where's that marker we're not going to see this. See that? Well, uh, if I have to work on it, I know straight away I don't have to turn that upside down now to make sure that that is the top. No matter which angle I put this on, I know that is the top. How many have? Put, how many of you guys have actually gotten there and? Um, 
put something down on a frame and then gone, heck, I've put it upside down. If you do that, hang on a sec, guys. You don't don't want to hear me doing this. I will. Okay, so if you do that, you know that what you're looking at is it is the top even if you're not gluing it down gluing it down is probably a bit more important okay so that's the glue on I am going to spread this out just a bit not that much this is one that dries clear but I'm not putting it near the edge okay oh, I just need to put that down on a cloth that's not going anywhere near the edge I don't want it running over and that is not because um, let's position this hang on while I concentrate positioning this Okay, that's not because I'm uh, I don't want it to run over it's more I don't want um, I'm not concerned about it going clear I don't want it running over the frame because this one is a clip on you get the edges okay so he's now glued he is now glued on I don't have to wait for him to set and now this is the la this is a point of no return now for drills because once I put this perspex on there is no coming off I don't well no coming off I don't want to have to lift it off to do any more repairs I'm not going to see them I've got some drills that have got holes in them I can replace they're dark brown oh it'll take a bit for me to find them again I'm going to live with them but I'm not going to live with the drills that are sitting up there Now that it's on the frame, this is not so. While it's on the craft on the craft mat, it's sorry. While it's on the craft mat, it's it's flexible. Now that it's on the frame, it's I'm pushing down onto something hard. Okay. Is there any more that I'm not happy with? Excuse the silence while I'm doing this. You might see my hair. My hair. Oh God. All the grey in it. But I'm I'm actually contemplating trying to go grey and not add any more colours to what any colour to it. Just let it go natural. I haven't put anything in my hair for months. So if you see it, you will see the grey in it. <laughs> okay. So now rolling it and that's actually pretty good there's nothing a little bit of popping but not much but there we go I'm just think I've got two more to frame there we go there's the perspex That was the one that was on top. Mm, doo -doo -doo. There we go. Okay. Right. Soft cloth. Soft lint cloth. Lint free cloth. Um, 
one that you use on your windows what I need to do is peel off this cover and once I peel this cover off I don't want to touch the top to touch the back of it I just can't find the plastic there it is oh see the difference now that plastic's coming off now I turned this when I've turned this I flipped it so I've got to remember when I put this back on I am flipping it back on okay now the hard bit oh it wasn't that hard okay plastic is off just a quick wipe on there fingers not going on the frame okay Whew. what I'm going to do now is put the clips on but I want to put the clips on um, without taking too much of this protective covering off or oh, can I get away with it okay I'm going to end up with fingerprints on this. The way this sits, yes, I am going to have to. Okay. Now I've not ever ever put these things on I just you know as you saw me watch me get them off for the first time so these go like that and on okay so hopefully you'll be able to see this happen where This, the, the remembering that this has got the drills on it and there is actually a hole that these go in so I've got to make sure I have the right one that's going to reach the end and doesn't seem to want to fit either There's a little hole. Okay. Let's try this one. There is okay, there is a little hole in the back of this can in the back of this here. And that's what I've got to do is get that hole get in that hole. But also get that over top. So, where, and I, I need to lift that up. Oops, that was a bit special. Okay, right. Whew. Geez, it went on quick when it went on. Okay, so what we've got back there, it's clipped on and clipped over. So one of the big concerns with using doing this method, I was semi-concerned about the 
size of the drills causing an issue. So that's that top section and I just need to pause for a second. Okay guys, that was I only paused to pick up what I dropped. So I've now got bottom on, sorry, top on. And that is definitely up the right way. <laughs> What I now need to do is secure the bottom because I need top and bottom secured before I do the sides. So yet again, get to and lift the um, protective seal. I don't need to lift it that much. And Let's have another go at getting this on. Rightio. I can feel the canvas on the edge there, which is okay. Rightio, here we go. Um, gosh, when it goes, it does go quick, doesn't it? It just suddenly kind of snaps into place. Just trying to find the hole where that goes into, which I'm not having much success with with that one. Okie dokie. You guys got a better angle of this than me. Oh, come on. That's... Okay. Don't know if you can see the teeny, 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 tiny hole. Right, here we go again. I need to lift that up and over. And that needs to go up and over the next bit. I should be using a flat head, not a Phillips. And there we go. Wow, how easy was that? Rightio. So that's top and bottom secure. Yeah, that I have enough room between you guys. So, there we go. Yep, I'll remove the perspex on that end. Okay, <laughs> one more. Oh. Okay, oh, that one went easy. That went real easy. <laughs> Don't tell me I got the knack of it. Finally, <laughs> whoops, okay. Find the hole. Poke it into the hole. Lift that up and over. And over. Okay, here we go. So, leopard, let's do the all big, big reveal. <sighs> Just looking at the edges. So he is, there is a little bit of, a little bit of overhang there. A little bit on the edge there. But it's so insignificant. Um, that's not something that's going to concern me. I would have been more worried if it was um, none at all, uh, that, that I could see the cardboards. Okay. Up comes the glass. Wow, look at him. So that is under the Perspex cover. He has his sparkle still and you can see my reflection on the glass, it's so shiny. Wow, how awesome is that? So he is now good to go, he is ready to go up. What do you guys think? So I will put the link 
to this down below for you to have a look at so even if you can't get it through you don't you find that you want to go with um, somewhere else if you at least get the idea of what it is that I purchased um, to how what it's called but it was a clip clip frame with metal hangers is this one my big one that's come up that I've got to do yet which is going to take me a lot longer um, is going to be it's going to take me a lot longer to do but that's on a support frame so it is bigger um, it's got to support more weight but this one cost me $32 Aussie um, it did cost me well with the I purchased three items it cost me $40 to ship all three it may have been less I don't know whether it's just a set pro set price for the size um, I didn't actually check that out but very 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 happy what do you guys think how easy is it to frame something because he is a custom and he's an animal he doesn't need a frame to be seen I don't want anybody looking at anything but him well her because she is just looking straight at you <laughs> so guys thank you for watching if you like my video please give me a thumbs up leave a comment what do you think would you tackle this uh, do you have any hints that I could put to when I do my next fra do when I do some framing um, there goes that word my mum tells me I use that word too much on my recordings yes she watches them, watches them. hello mum uh, yeah so give me a thumbs up leave me a comment any suggestions any hints and tricks that you have for framing that I might find better like doing the edges how I do the edges maybe you do something different that works better uh, and uh, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already if you are a subscriber thank you very much I appreciate all my subscribers and um, hit the bell and then you'll be notified when uh, I do and when I do my next upload so thanks for watching and bye for now <laughs>